God bless you. God bless you. How y'all doing on today? Today is good. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Wonderful word on today. Very quick. You know, this is the time I go on between 11.30 and noon. So around noon time, people could come in and hear a word for the rest of the day and be blessed. Uh, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord shall and will be glorified. Glory to God. Today, the book of wisdom, Proverbs. Proverbs 4 today. We're going to go through 1, 2, 12 quickly. 1 through 12. Proverbs, Proverbs 4, 1 through 12. Proverbs, Proverbs 4, 1 through 12. Glory to God. God, clear my mind. I hate that. That's not like God. Glory to God, glory to God so that I can give out this word that you have gave me, oh God, for all of us to hear and to receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Proverbs 4. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be, be glad in it. I'm glad in, in I'm glad in this day because the Lord has given me another opportunity to get it right and get it together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, so that I can make it in. Glory to God. Proverbs 4. 4 and 1. 1 down to the 12th verse on today, Wednesday, Wednesday noon. Word, even though I'm a little early today, a little early today, about 20 minutes early. But it's all good. It's still almost noon. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs 4 and 1 says, Hear ye children, the instructions of a father. And they tend to no understanding. It's telling us our children as children, as man and woman, how we're supposed to listen to our father. This is lowercase father. So you're looking at it natural, how a father should teach his children. And father, a good man, it teaches father, it teaches children the gospel. A good man. Yeah, and I wasn't a good man at all times, and none of us is good until we find God. Once you find God, God will make you good and great. But without God, we're not good. And we don't teach our children good things. We teach them worldly things, but we won't teach them good things. What's good is the gospel. The gospel is good. It's the good news. So when you teach your children that, that's the, that's the understanding. That's what they need to get, that type of wisdom. It says, hear ye children, the instructions of a father. The father is supposed to give their kids instructions. Their children instructions. Their grandchildren instructions. If you can't instruct them, don't, don't even, even, don't even bother with them. Yeah, well, it's not the child's fault. It's the, it's the mother's or whoever, whoever they belong to. You can't instruct them. Leave them alone. Go find somebody else where kids you could instruct and you could teach. Glory to God. God will handle them. Right? But it says, hear ye children, the instruction of a father and intend to know understanding and this is what god wants you to get he wants you to get an understanding understanding from your father just like this is natural father lowercase f father right king james version proverbs 4 and 1 but then if you but if you look at it spiritually hear ye children you're supposed to hear from your father as well father which are in heaven right and get understanding into what he's saying god wants you to get understanding so it goes both ways it says, for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Forget not the law. Well, if your father gives you, don't, don't forsake it. And don't forsake the doctrine. The good doctrine is the good news. Whatever your father gives you when it comes down to God, receive it. And if some of us don't have fathers, you have mothers, and your mother give you a word. Thank God for your mother. And for those of us that don't have a mother nor a father, God will be the father to the fatherless and the mother to the motherless. He not to speak to both man and woman because he created both. So we give God all the praises, glory, and honor. Right? It says, for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. And see, he don't want you, don't forsake not the law. Don't forget about it. Don't forsake it nor leave it. It's something that should stay in your heart always. It's actually the gospel is what you need to, to survive day by day. Without the gospel, there's no surviving. Without the gospel, there's only darkness. There's only one light, and that's God. Jesus is the light. He's the light of the world. And without the light, the gospel, you are nothing. You see, we are nothing without the light. We wouldn't even be alive if there was no light. Glory to God. So we thank God for the light because we are children of the day. Glory to God. We are not children of the night, right? We are children of the day. And it says, for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Forsake not a lot. And when God gives you something, even if it's from your father or whoever it's from, it's good doctrine. And it says, for ye, forsake ye not my law. Don't forsake it. 
take it in, receive it, and believe it. Right? Because the doctrine is good. It's a good doctrine. It ain't just nonsense. It ain't like we just we just talking about Puffy all day. It ain't like we just talking about T.D. Jakes all day. It's not like we just talking about this or that all day. All that carnal stuff that has nothing to do with your soul. But when somebody give you the doctrine, the good doctrine, the good news, right? Good news is good for your soul. Bad news, who cares about, you know, what's going on with Little Dirk or what's going on with this person or what's going on in politics and this, this, and that. That news, that news means absolutely nothing compared to the good news. The good news, he says, forsake ye not the law. Forsake it not. Keep it in your heart. Let it stay there. All the other news is garbage. And we human, we listen to it. I listen to it sometimes too, but it's not good. When God wants you to listen to him, listen to him. If your father is speaking, your natural father, your natural mother, whoever it is, or whoever takes care of you and they got the gospel, listen, listen, so that you could learn something and make sure you get an understanding. It says, for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. Thank God for those of y'all, those of us that uh, I didn't have a father. So I can't, I can't relate to this, but I can relate to God being my father and how he was tender with me. And how I was, and how, how he was tender with me and had mercy with me. Thank God for the father. Glory to God. So when I didn't have a father, right? The father which are in heaven was my father. So thank God for him. He was tender with me and he loved me, right? And I thank God for him. For it says, for I was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. So thank God. Ain't that son? In the sight of my mother. He said, he taught me also. And said unto me, let thy heart retain my words. And this is what God wants you to want you to get right. He wants you to put the words in your heart, retain it. So you just don't hear it. You just don't hear the word, but put the word in your heart. Yeah, and one day it might not be a book. So if there's no book, God expects the book to be in you, be in your heart. Let the book be in your heart. Retain it in your heart. Let thy heart retain my words. And keep my commandments and live. This is how you live, by keeping the commandments. You live by keeping what God commands you to do. Anything else is garbage. Anything else you're receiving inside your mind is garbage. And what happens when too much garbage loads up and it doesn't get dumped? It turns and get bugs on it, maggots and rats. That's how, this is how we're living like maggots. Some of us are living like maggots and rats. We can't obtain God because we have so much garbage in our heart and in our mind. Stuff that doesn't have anything to do with our souls. Stuff that doesn't matter. What matters is the good news. It says, he taught me also and said unto me, let thy heart retain my words. This is what you want. You want the words of, the words of God to be retained on your heart. So that you'll have a word to give yourself when days get difficult. When a storm rises, you have a word to give that storm. When a mountain come up, guess what? You know how to climb it because you got a word to talk to that mountain. When something bad happens, you know what the you know what's in your heart, what you have retained in your heart. You retain the good news. You retain the good word inside of your heart. So now your heart know how to handle certain situations because you got God with you. He's your father. And it says, keep my commandments and live. This is how you live. You see, anything else is death. If you want to live forever, then you want to live forever. You're going to live forever regardless, no matter what, because all souls belong to God. You're going to live forever. But do you want to live forever away from the presence of God, or do you want to live with God forever? That's the question. I know me, I want to live with God forever. I don't want to go nowhere where God is not present. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It said, get wisdom. This is wisdom now speaking. It says, get wisdom and get an understanding. This is what you're supposed to get, wisdom and get an understanding. Get both. Get wisdom. Get an understanding. As one, get wisdom. Number two, get an understanding. Number three, forget it not. Neither decline. That's that's three and four from the words of my mouth. So when God, when your father is speaking, when God is speaking, he says, get wisdom. Get an understanding. Forget it not. Don't forget the word. Don't let the word just go in your ears and out the other. It says, neither decline it. A lot of folks decline it. When you start declining the word, you start living a lie. You'll start living a lie. You'll start living, you'll start living in darkness and, and calling it right. You'll run from God and run to darkness. You don't want good things. You want bad things. Bad things to happen. 
right? Because it says, get wisdom, get an understanding, and forget it not. Neither decline the words of my mouth. When you decline the words of God, when you decline it and you reject it, bad things happen. Because once one thing about Satan, he gives you something, but, the, but you know what else he do? He takes it back. See, what Satan gives you, he takes it back. Or what Satan gives you, it doesn't last. Whatever Satan gives, it always is always a cost. It comes with a price. Glory to God. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, need to decline from the words of my mouth. Glory to God. Don't, 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 don't reject it. You might not understand it still, don't reject it. It may even sound kind of strange, but don't reject it. It said, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Don't forget it. What God has said to you, what God said to you will happen if you believe it. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Get wisdom. Make sure you get an understanding. Whatever it is, make sure you get an understanding before you leave. You don't understand something? Ask a question. Talk to your father. And the Lord will give you what you need to know so that you can understand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it says, forsake her not. Now it says, forsake her not. This part flips for some people. And if you don't have the spirit of God with you, you wouldn't understand this part. You think he's talking about a natural woman. But it says, forsake her not. Well, because you see the word her. Now her, she is the mother of us all. You might be saying, Pastor, who's, who's the mother of us all? Well, wisdom. Wisdom is her. When God speaks, it's like a mother confident her children. Her child, her only beloved son or daughter. How a mother cares for her kid. Right? How a mother comforts and feeds her sons or daughters. Right? Glory to God. That's how God's word is when it touches us. It's like a, it's a her. It feels like a mother. Ain't that son? It says, forsake her not. And she shall preserve thee. And this is how you get preserved. When God speak. That's why I said he could talk to the motherless and the fatherless. Because his voice. Is confident like a woman. It's confident like a, like a, like a her. Ain't that something? And she shall preserve thee. Love her. And she shall keep thee. If you love the words. The words of God. As we said. If you love the words of God. It shall keep thee. This is how you get kept. If you hate and reject the word of God, you're going to go through some things. And then a lot of folks got to go through do some things just like Jonah. You know, they running from God and then God is sent a well or something to swallow you up so that you can get your, get your life in order. Sadly, some folks got to go through hell in order to find God. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You're going to go through hell. Especially when the word of God is coming forth and you reject it. And it says, forsake her not, and she shall what? Preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. This is wisdom. That's why any, not just anybody can read this book. Because they think it's about a woman. <laughs> See, when you got carnal, when you got garbage in your mind, you can't read the word of God. Or if you don't love God, you can't read the word of God. Or you don't believe his truth, you can't read the word of God. If you don't believe God for who he is, you can't read the word of God. The word of God is not just for anybody. It's for those that believe. It's for the saints. That's what the word of God for. And he had given to us the babes. I'm like a babe. I'm a babe in Christ. He gave it to the babes that super wisdom and that super knowledge because we have must seed faith. Glory to God. Forsake her not. And she shall not preserve thee. Love her. And she shall keep thee. Even when I fall, I still thank God. Even when I'm off, I still thank God. Even when I'm evil sometimes, I still thank God. Even when I do things that I shouldn't be doing, I still thank God. Because God is God. I'm not going to let nothing separate me from her love. Ain't that something? From her love. Her love. What's that? God's wisdom. God's voice. God's presence. Right? God's wisdom. Preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. This is how he keeps you. God will keep you because you you love you love the words of wisdom. Glory to God. Now the Bible says wisdom. It tells you what he's talking about. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get an understanding. This is what God is saying. Get an understanding when you get wisdom. Don't reject it. Get an understanding. And it says, exalt her. 
and she shall promote thee. This is how you get promoted. God will promote you. He'll put you, he'll take, he can take something that's considered garbage and recycle it. And it becomes great. God takes mis misfits and turn them into great people. God take dirt and make it into something special. Wisdom is the principal thing. You see, no other thing is principal principal thing. The principal thing is wisdom. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, whatever you get, all thy getting, and say some, and say all that you get, get an understanding. That's why you got to make sure you understand what the man of God is saying. That's why I break it down in ABC terms. It don't got to be big words. It don't got to, because the word of God don't have big words. It's simple. It's for the simple hearted and simple minded. Yeah. Broken hearted. The lost, the broken, they can understand it if they hear it from a teacher that's given good, sound doctrine. Get an understanding. Get an understanding of what the man of God, the woman of God, or the people of God, your father, your mother, whoever is speaking to you when it comes down to God's word. Get an understanding. And it says, exalt her. That's what you do. Praise God. Exalt her. Exalt her. Look at this. It's telling her. Exalt. Listen to this, man. Look at this book here. Exalt her. Who's her? Wisdom. Wisdom is her. And it says, and she shall promote thee, and she shall bring thee to honor. This is how you get honored. You're not going to be liked. You're not going to be liked. They hate you because you preach the gospel, the gospel of truth. People hate wisdom. Right? But you're still going to be honored. They hated Martin Luther King, but he's honored. They hated Malcolm X, but he's honored. They hated Jesus, but he's honored. They hated Paul, but guess what? He's honored. You will be honored. And it says, when thou do, do embrace her. When you do embrace wisdom, you'll be honored. Because wisdom will come out. And people that's geniuses, they got theology. They think they got theology down pat. They'll be like, that kid got some wisdom. That's what they're going to say. That's some good wisdom right there coming out of you, son. Yeah. Well, I don't get the glory. It goes, it goes to her. It goes to God. Our father. And the wisdom that come out of his mouth, which is her wisdom. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. You get grace from the word of God. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. And then you're going to get a crown of glory. Delivered to you. Because you believe in the word of God. Without rejecting it. You believe in the word of God without Without questioning it with debates. You believe in the word of God because it's the truth, the way, and the life. Ain't that son? Glory to God. It says, She shall give to thy hand an ornament of grace. Also, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. The Bible says, Hear, O my son, and receive my saying. And the years of thy life shall be many. God will give you years added to your life. And it says it shall be many. God don't want to see you die here. God wants you to keep continue spreading the word of God. He said, you receive, he said, oh, here, oh, my son, here. He said, here, oh, my son, and receive my sayings. Receive them. And the years of thy life shall be many. God said he'll give you many years. Thank you, Lord. I should have been dead many times, but thank God God got me here now. It's a blessing. I'm thankful. I should be dead and in hell or prison for the rest of my life. But look at God. He says it was secret because I received his sayings. And the years of thy life shall be many. God will give you many years added on to your life. And he says, I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. And then he'll teach you. This is, this is who teaches you. God teaches you. He says, I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right path. God will give you wisdom and he's going to lead you in the right path. Some folks don't want God to lead them. Like they like Satan leading them. Because when Satan leads them, there's no accountability. You can just be lazy. You just lay up. You can just do drugs. Get high when you want. There's no accountability. Sleep as many women as you want. No accountability. You just do you. You know, no accountability. But God is giving you, see, God, God is giving you a command. Stop. God has given you a command. That's not right. God has given you a command. You got to go to the right, not to the left. See, God commands us. And these folks, these days, they want to be independent. I'm an independent woman. 
I'm an independent man, right? Nobody can tell me nothing. I only live once. Okay. Okay, with your prideful self. Yeah. Yeah, laugh now, cry later. Yeah, that, well, that's what's going to happen. Or you're going to receive the truth in turn. Yeah. Or deny it now and cry later. You're going to laugh now, cry later. Or deny it now and cry later. But one thing for sure, the Bible states that every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess. At the end of the day, that's what's going to happen. That's what we believe. I believe it. I'm just, I'm just preaching. I believe it. Just like you believe what you want to believe. People believe what they believe. They believe in Buddha. They believe his sayings. And they stick by it. You got the gays. They believe what they believe. And guess what? They stick by it. You got the fornicators and adulterers. They believe what they believe. And guess what? They're going to stick by it. The masturbators, the rapers, the gangbangers, they, they stick and they pledge. They stay by it. And guess what? I'm going to stay and stand and stick with what I believe. And this is what I believe. This is why I'm going to stand with it. Some believe we come from monkeys. Some believe we come from, come from the water, come from fishes. Some believe we come from the Big Bang. That's what they believe. And they're going to stand on that. And this is what I stand on. We got a right to believe what we want to believe. I stand on this. And I believe every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's what I believe. Because I know that the Lord has changed me. I know that the Lord has delivered me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, your life, and the years of your life shall be many. This is how I taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right paths. This is what God going to lead you in the right paths. Someone that loves you will lead you in the right paths. If a man loves you, he's not going to see, he's not going to lead you into darkness. If a woman loves you, she's not going to lead you into darkness. She's going to lead you in the right paths. He's going to lead you in the right paths. When someone loves you, they lead you in the right paths. If they love you. If I love my son, why would I lead him? Why would I lead him to a gangster life? If I love him. If I love my son, I'm going to teach him not to be that. Because there's only two options, death or jail. So why would I lead my son into being a gangster? Same thing with God in the gospel. He's going to lead you in the right paths. And in the ways of wisdom. This is what God does for us. That's what a good father would do or a good mother. But lead your kids to education. Ain't they, ain't, well, 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 they're going to lead themselves to education. God going to lead them to education. Uh, Education if you lead them to God first. That's why he says seek ye first. He didn't say seek education. He didn't say seek the world. God didn't say seek the world. God didn't say seek the voodoo doctor. He said seek ye first. That's what God said. He didn't say seek Ricky, Ricky Lake. He didn't say go seek this person. That person. Right? He said he didn't go say seek man. He didn't say go seek man. Seek your teachers. Seek the psychiatrists. He didn't say that. God said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and he put them together, kingdom of God and his righteousness. The righteousness of God is Jesus Christ. Seek him first. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Seek God first. That's what you're supposed to do. Then when you seek God first, he said, all these things are added to you. This is how things be added unto you because you're seeking God first. Right? Now he can lead. Now he knows how to, he'll lead your son. He'll lead your daughter. He'll lead your cousin, your family members, your enemies. He'll lead them to the paths of righteousness because he loves them. God loves you. He don't hate you. Somebody telling you the truth, why you get offended? You, you see, folks get offended off the truth because that's a devil. Yeah. Only, 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 the only thing that gets mad at truth is the devil. The devil hates the truth. And this is where the gospel stands in because it comes to deliver you. From evil. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Deliver us from evil. Show us the right path. Show us the way of wisdom, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it says, when thou goest, thy steps shall be straightened. Well, wherever you go, your steps is going to be straightened. And when thou run, guess what it says? Thou shall not stumble. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now we close with that. When you run, you shall not stumble. And when you go forth, God said it's going to be a straight path. It ain't going to be crooked. It's not going to lean to the left. It's not going to lean to the right. Your ways is going to be straight. And God's going to show your wisdom. 
He said, get wisdom and all that you get. Get our understanding. Make sure you understand the word of God. Because it's the word of God is the only thing that can help you. It's the only thing that, see, the kingdom lives in you. You are the kingdom. You are the kingdom of God. And his righteousness lives in you. The, the, this is the mystery, Christ in you. This is the mystery, Christ in you. The hope of glory lives in you. When you start walking and obeying him, he'll live in you and do everything that's supposed to be done through you to help someone else so that they can make it in. Glory to God. I love you all. God bless you on this Wednesday afternoon. It should be afternoon now, just now hitting noon. And I usually, usually, like I said, I usually start at noon, but I'm a little early and I know those that's going to come in, they're going to come in and they're going to watch this regardless. And those that's not, they're going to skip right past it because they don't want truth. They don't want truth. And you can see how people are following all type of demonic doctrines and they following devils and demons all the way to hell. How could the blind lead the blind? But if you want the truth, that's one thing I'm going to give you. And if not, you'll go find a lie. Glory to God. God bless you. And may God bless you today, your family, your loved ones, and even your enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray God release healings blessings, healings, blessings, and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. God bless you. I love you all. Have a wonderful day.